Yeah, well, Fox 4, we were first to report on this investigation and what was happening here into the missing funds. That was in January. Now, a source very close to the investigation contacted us about what was happening inside of the courthouse, this investigation. But still, months later, again, this was January when we first reported it, that it still seems that many people are not willing to speak about this case. Obviously, I'm the only one on the commission at this point that seems to take it seriously. Straight and to the point, coming from Johnson County Commissioner Charlotte O'Hara. We need to do something. We need to we need to let the public know that we're being very proactive, that we're putting safeguards in place so that this will not happen again. Safeguards when it comes to the issue of record keeping, what seemingly allowed Donna Kellogg, a former Johnson County District Court accounting supervisor, to embezzle more than $1 million. She's pleading guilty to one count of wire fraud and one count of making a false tax return, according to this plea agreement. Prosecutors say she stole cash coming into the court and wrote nearly 500 checks to herself. This went unnoticed for seven years, from 2010 to 2017, and only recently became public. We just start turning a blind eye to this. This is ridiculous. But Charlotte O'Hara says she isn't, recently pressuring other commissioners and county leaders to adopt a new auditing process. She says this way, there is a clearer way to determine if public funds are spent legally and managed correctly. But so far, she says she's all alone in this fight. Fox 4 attempted to contact the court administrator and county manager for comment. Neither returned our request for comment. It's like the county is a dysfunctional family. We're just not going to talk about this and it'll go away. Well, it's not going to go away. And Kellogg, she resigned from her position in 2017 before this investigation started because an unrelated matter. Now, she is set to have a sentencing hearing August 16th. We'll keep you updated on what happens there. Again, she could face up to 20 years in prison. She is also ordered to pay back more than a million dollars in restitution. Kevin.